Yeah, thank you. This is where 39-year-old Nassim Abdam lived with her grandmother here in the second floor apartment here. You see the kitchen light is still on, and today a search warrant was served at this residence, also attended by uh, members of uh, the ATF uh, department. So a lot of law enforcement here early, 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 early in the morning. Now let us show you uh, her pictures. This is 39-year-old Nassim Abdam, and authorities say yesterday, because she was mad at YouTube for filtering her videos, she walked onto the into the headquarters of the YouTube building while employees were having lunch and opened fire with a 9mm Smith & Wesson, uh, wounding three employees, one remains in serious condition, and then killed herself. Now, uh, police in Mountain View, which is near San Bruno, the headquarters of YouTube, said they made contact with Abdom sleeping in her car early Tuesday morning, reached out to her family, and they claimed that the family said there was no indications that she was capable of violence or if she was, in fact, mad at YouTube. Uh, but the family is not happy with the way the police handled this case. Take a listen. They said she was angry at uh, YouTube, so be careful. And police said, we are going to watch her, but they didn't watch her. Are you angry with the police? Do you blame the police? Do you should they have done more? I they should watch. Do you feel like the other one is happening? Okay. You can imagine the number of folks who have uh, disputes with various social media companies. Uh, uh, the amount of, uh, of folks who we see in this general area. Uh, there was there was nothing by her body language, her her conversation, her. Uh, demeanor or the information that we received, we received from the family that suggested that we should handle this in any other manner in which the officers handled it. Now the gun that Agam used was registered in her name. Enforce Ranch, John Slover, kid, you were all right, John, thank you. Investigators are looking into a deadly marine helicopter crash near El Centro.